Good morning, YouTube family. It is a very rainy Sunday morning and I'm inviting you for breakfast. No makeup, still in my pajamas, delicious cup of coffee. It's breakfast. Why not? Decided to let you in in the morning. So this is the reality of my mornings. Joe, you want to say good morning? Joseph. Thank you, baby. He's over there eating his banana and granola bar today. So, this morning, I'm going to show you guys how to make an amazing buttermilk biscuit. This is not for the faint of heart. If you're on a low-carb, no-carb, any type of diet, probably exit this recipe because this isn't the one for you. It's salty and buttery and... Exactly, Bubba. It's buttery. It's buttery. It's so good. It goes amazing um, with jelly. Today, I'm just going to fry an egg or how do they call that? Sunny side up? Over easy? I don't exactly know. Probably over easy or something like that. And some sausage and it's just so good with some jam. Mmm. However, you know, um, let's get started with the ingredients so you guys can see all the deliciousness that I'm talking about that's going on here. First and foremost, buttermilk. Always need your buttermilk for your buttermilk biscuits. <clears throat> you need a whole stick of butter. This is eight tablespoons. I'm just going to plop it into here. I'm going to melt that baby down in the microwave. We're going to use flour. Baking powder, salt, you don't have to use sea salt, this is just what I have in my house, and some granulated sugar, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and move the camera so you guys can see what I'm doing. We're going to combine all of the dry ingredients and then um, then the buttermilk, and then we'll move on from there, okay? First, we're going to take two and a half cups of flour. And I like to sift everything together. Um, you don't have to, but it just makes for a better texture um, product after you um, put it all together. So that's one cup. I'm using a half a cup uh, measuring cup. One and a half. Oh, yeah, Joe. And that's two cups. And then next, I'm going to put four teaspoons of the baking powder. It's three and four. I will also put the ingredients down in the description because, you know, you're probably watching and not writing this down, and that's okay. I'm not asking you to be writing as you're watching. This is a four teaspoons of granulated sugar. And then we're gonna do two teaspoons. You know what? I don't want to do it like that. Two teaspoons of salt. Um, when you get your butter, use unsalted butter. I have used salted butter before, and it just comes out way, way too salty. Like beyond salty. I made that mistake because I was like, who buys unsalted butter? Like, why would you do this the first time I ever did this? Yeah, that wasn't the brightest idea on my part. So, just as a note, use unsalted butter. Alright, perfect. And then I'm just going to make sure everything is combined and mixed up. Up. 
if you want, you could go ahead and start with a cup and then mix it in. A lot of people like to gradually add it in, but fortunately, I've done this enough time that I know two cups is just, it just works great, okay? So then we're just gonna combine that until it's in a very, oh, where's my spatula? Until it's in a doughy mixture. And then we're gonna melt the butter into the cup, or into that um, coffee cup that I have. And it's so simple, this is, this is it. That's all that, that's all that you need, you know? So we're just gonna go ahead and mix this on up. Um, before you even start mixing your ingredients up, you're gonna wanna warm your oven up to 450 degrees. And it's gonna cook for about 20 to 25 minutes. Um, start checking on it at about 20 because everybody's ovens vary. Uh, when you see the tops of the biscuits, super brown then or nice and golden brown and then they're you know ready to go so see how I just barely mix that you really don't want to over mix this because you just don't you just don't you just don't it's just not one of those ones that you're like all right let's vigorously mix no it's not that kind of dough all right so then we're gonna melt the butter all right, so I've got my stick of butter, unsalted butter, in the coffee cup. I'm just going to put it in the microwave. And I'm going to put it for 30 seconds. It's not gonna completely melt down, I know that, but I'm gonna check it every 30 seconds until it is completely melt down because I don't want it to melt too fast and I don't want it to melt too slow. So I'm going to mix it up, melt it again, mix it up, put it in for longer. Okay, so another really good advice, <clears throat> have a baking sheet underneath your, um, your cooking pan. This is a 9x9, nine 8x8, nine, eight eight, something like this. Either size will work, 8x8, eight 9x9, eight, nine nine. you're only making 9 biscuits. Let's check, let's check. So see, not totally melted. Swish it around. Set it for another 30 seconds. Set it for another 30. Okay, but during the cooking of this, because I've actually had this happen to me, during the cooking of this, sometimes your biscuits will overflow and the butter gets all over your oven. So, highly suggest putting a baking pan or something to catch that excess butter if it was to run over. Okay, so my butter is done. All I'm gonna do is just pour the butter in the bottom of the pan, in the bottom of the baking dish. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm not gonna grease the rest of the pan. Actually, I might do like this. I'm gonna just do like that just to coat the sides. You really don't need to do this. Okay. drip your butter out. Okay. Now I'm going to go get the dough. Alright, so I got my dough. And I'm just going to plop it down into that beautiful butter mixture. No shame, man. No shame in my game. This is not a healthy recipe. I'm not trying to be healthy today, nor have I been trying to be healthy over the last couple weeks. Uh, shame on me, but whatever. I don't really care right now. I'll go on a diet another time. Right now, not the time. I want to get all the dough that I possibly can out of here. And then we just kind of want to spread it out, even it out. 
try to even it out. Because it is a very sticky Mama, dough. Why? Oh, really, Joe? Mama, oh, okay. Mama, you want rice? Mama, it's, Mama, it's very early in the morning for rice, sugar pie. Mama, oh, okay, Joe. Oh, okay, honey. All right, so. Kind of got it evened out the best I can. You know, push it all the way to your sides. Then I'm going to take a plastic knife. Plastic knife. And I'm going to cut it into um, nine pieces. I'm just going to cut it about there, cut it about there. My nine pieces are not exactly even, but oh well. Definitely not even pieces, <laughs> but that's okay. All right, that's all you do. Your buttermilk biscuits are ready to go in the oven, completely ready to go into the oven. So I like to make sure there's a little bit of butter on the top of them. Okay, on the pan, I'm gonna stick them again in the oven for um, 20 to 25 minutes. Start checking it at about 20, because everybody's ovens vary, okay? So I'll be back with y'all in about 20 to 25 minutes. All right, my lovelies. It has been about 22 minutes. My timer's about to go off, but we're gonna take these beautiful biscuits out of the oven. Oh, I should probably get two pan. All right. How beautiful and golden brown those are. Okay, so the reason I need to show you these directly out of the oven is because it looks like they're literally swimming in butter. Can you see that? Look how beautiful those biscuits are. But they look like they're swimming in butter. I want you to know that these need to sit for five to ten minutes before you decide to cut into them to eat because all that scrumptious butter that's just floating around in here absorbs back into the biscuits. And it just makes for this amazingly buttery, salty, delicious, like soft, flaky biscuit. Like, oh my God, I just, I really love these biscuits, but they're very, very unhealthy. Please don't touch that, Joe. It's very hot and I love it, okay? So I'm just gonna go ahead and set these aside for five to 10 minutes. I'm gonna make my sausage, I'm gonna make my eggs, and I'll show you how we plate these up, you know? Um, they're so good, you guys. You have to give this a try, at least once in your life when you're not dieting, but at least once in your life, make these biscuits. They're so good. All right, I'll be back with you. Okay, I totally cannot wait until I'm done cooking to get my hands on a piece of this biscuit. But if you notice, all the butter has absorbed back into the biscuits like I said they would. See? Absorbed, not dripping with butter grease or anything like that. I'm just gonna go ahead and cut it a little bit open. Mm. Oh my god, that's so good. Okay. And I'm just gonna put a little bit of jelly because I cannot wait. I'm like, my mouth is watering knowing that I have these right now. Okay. Close it. Mmm. So delicious.
delicious, guys. Like, you have to give this a try once in your lifetime. At least once in your lifetime. They're so good. And they're so versatile. You can eat them with jelly. You can have them as, like, a morning biscuit with, um, like, a sandwich biscuit or biscuit sandwich. However that's said. Whatever. Um, you can have them as a side. Make sausage and gravy with biscuits. It, the options are like totally endless. They're so good. You can use them for dinner or whatever. Or you can just have them along a nice, wonderful cup of coffee like, like that. Anyways, thank you for joining me on this beautiful rainy day. Can't wait to open the doors and get that beautiful fresh air in or that wonderful fresh air. I love rain air. It's so nice. Um, and then when you got biscuits going, it makes it even better. So I'm about to make beans and rice. So, you know, my house is about to smell completely different here in a second, but it's okay. Anyways, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you want to add more salt, please do totally up to you. I just prefer the non-salted butter. I know I put like a, you know, caution out there about that, but really that's up to your, your, um, your taste buds. You know, um, when I'm, I make these for breakfast. So usually I'm having them with bacon and eggs and those are usually salty. So, well, the bacon is not really the eggs. So, you know, it, sometimes it just, it overpowers. So that's why I was saying that earlier. Just make sure that you're not overpowering one flavor to another, you know, with the whole salt thing. But anyways, if you're new to my channel, please subscribe so you never miss a thing going down in my kitchen, especially like random Sunday mornings like today. Anyways, thank you so much. I appreciate all your views, all your love. Anyways, everybody, I hope you have an amazing week. Stay healthy, stay safe out there. And I'll see you next time. Bye. Joe, you want to say bye? He said bye-bye. <laughs> Have a good week, y'all.